right, today is Wednesday, August the 13th. This is Kim Wolf, and I am, uh, let's see, how many calls have I received today from my marketing? That would be zero. I added one new person to my contact list. I have no appointments and no presentations scheduled. I am going to be doing some uh, calling tonight to set some appointments from my new contacts. How many customer follow-ups and 48-hour follow-ups have I done today? Zero. I have uh, spoken to several of my business builders in terms of um, just mentoring and trying to um, encourage them along. So we're just kind of touching base on it um, every day. My thoughts in regards to uh, last night I did a training about understanding the law. Um, and I just really think that the impact of that for me is recognizing, as a Christian, I've always been um, taught that, you know, if it's God's will, it'll happen. And I am I know that faith without works is dead. I know that from a intellectual point of view. But from a heart point of view, I don't know in terms of um, just everyday things how that plays out. I have um, applied that from a spiritual perspective just in terms of serving others and you know trying to do godly type things but when I look at that in the overall picture and knowing that God is there and God does provide for me but I think I'm just starting to come to terms with and I don't even know if I really even get it all and don't even honestly know if I believe it 100% that um, God will provide for me that I believe and I know that I have a part in that, but to say that I truly understand the whole law, I don't know that I do. I understand like the law of gravity. That makes perfect sense to me. And I try and then um, parallel that with what we're talking about just in terms of how we can move forward in our lives and um, expect good things. I don't know. I'm just kind of torn. I don't even know how to, I feel like I'm rambling because I don't even really know how to explain what's really going through my head other than the fact that I think I get it from an intellectual perspective, but I don't know that it's moved into a heart understanding fully. I think it's there, but I don't know that I truly have um, digested that yet, I think would be the best way to explain it. Um, but I'm very excited. I think that's what's really what is fun for me is I'm just really excited about learning and uh, trying to keep an open mind. You know, you're conditioned. You grow up in a home where, um, you know, for many, many years you're taught certain things and um, you believe that to be true. I think that the biggest thing for me over the last few weeks is recognizing that, excuse me, that truth is not always what you've been told truth is. So I've grown up in a home where um, things were not always positive in terms of um, encouraging you along. You know, my father was a very negative person, absolutely loved me to death. I was always confident of the love he had for me, but he just wasn't a very encouraging person. My mother is just a doll of a human being, uh, would never hurt a fly, and has never discouraged me, but isn't the most encouraging person. Um, you know, she'll say, like, you can do what you can, you can do whatever you want to do, but she's not like the big cheerleader type. And I know that my person is a person where words of affirmation are very important, and I sometimes think I have, um, um, you know, I've based my identity based on what other people say about me versus what I know to be true. And so this has been really interesting for me, and I'm really excited about um, just basically it's kind of like talk to the hand. Um, when people say things about me and I know that it's not true, whether it be a positive or a negative, I can choose to um, ignore that comment and replace it with something that I know to be true. And that's just really encouraging to me, and I'm really putting that to um, use in my personal life. I'm putting that um, to use in my business. When um, I get a no, or I feel like that somebody is um, not really interested in what I have to say, 
then I, I feel like over the last few days I haven't really take that, taken that personal. My very dearest friend that is, um, you know, she's like my sister friend, has not quite, I think, um, believed in what I'm doing as a business. I think she kind of struggles with my home-based business. She supports me 100%. She supports me personally in any endeavor I've ever taken but her belief bucket isn't quite filled in terms of her being able to join me in the business. And then for a while there, it kind of hurt my feelings because I thought that, you know, if she really believed in me, she would trust my opinion and then therefore believe in the business. But that's not a fair expectation of her. She has the right to choose her belief, and I respect that. And today I sit here and I don't feel insulted by her not jumping on the train with me. Um... I actually respect her decision because I think she's thinking things through and you know what our mind is very powerful and so if she does decide to join me in this business it'll be because she truly has made a decision and that's exciting for me so anyway I just want to say thanks to my mentors for uh, taking the time to really spend and investing their time and energy into um, helping us to grow to become better people and just wait to see what um, the impact is that we're going to have on the world. I have this incredible idea. I am so excited about it. I am um, not going to unveil that at this point in time. I just need to do a little bit more um, processing of that, but I just can't wait. So have a great day.